what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore scene underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i'm out i'm in it's like it's it's coming a time where we got to understand fear for what it really is you know i think we live in i don't think man like we live in a time where fear has to be invoked among the people among the masses, especially the melanated people, like you have to invoke fear within them to keep them from being who they want to be, being who they need to be and who they're supposed to be for this fucking world to function properly. You feel what I'm saying? And when you watch how when you watch how shit plays out and shit occurs in this fucked up ass reality. Like, you start to see, you start to see what the purpose of it all is. You know, fear is some poisonous shit. And I think people, a lot of times, misinterpret what fear really is. And I say that because a lot of people equate fear to being scared or, you know, being afraid. Two totally different things. You feel what I'm saying? Fear is eternal. That shit is permanent. Fear is a power. Fear is in a fleeting feeling that comes within the moment. That's not fear, bro. Fear is eternal. That shit lasts forever until you understand and comprehend why you shouldn't fear. But until you reach that point, fear will haunt you every day of your fucking life. Every moment you have of your life. When you live in fear, a lot of times we feel that because it's not perpetual and it hits and spurts, that, you know, you know, there's fear tactics and shit like that. But you have to live in a state of fear, of being of fear all the time in order to have the moments when fear can hurt you. Fear can hit you. Now, as I said, I'm not I'm not speaking just on being scared of shit. Like that's temporary. Like you feel me? If you catch a snake slither by you in a glimpse of your eye and shit, that's being scared, you know. But the phobia of snakes, the fear of snakes, that's different. You feel what I'm saying? Being scared is, you know, like I said, it's quick, it's fleeting. You know, the moment it happens, it's gone almost as quick. You know, you get your heart rate, you know, built up and you, you know. But fear is different. Fear penetrates the psyche. The conscious mind, subconscious mind, and unconscious mind. Fear is different. Like, fear has been placed on us since... Since religion's inceptions, like, I don't care what people choose to to accept and believe. I don't really care about that. But I care about the knowledge factor that is fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? When you serve something or you follow a doctrine that promotes fear, that tells you to fear something. You feel me? It fucks with your mind. And then you have a contradictory position to it where it says... You're not given the spirit of fear, but you should fear the thing that gave you the spirit of fear. Let me rephrase that. It tells you that you should not have a spirit of fear. But it tells you to fear the very thing that's telling you not to have a fear, not to have a spirit of fear. Like, that shit makes no sense. That's a mind fault. You feel what I'm saying? And when you are created by something that you are to fear, what do you think that does to you? Like, really take some time to sit and and think about that. Because now, not only do you have to fear the very thing, you have to fear its messengers. You have to fear the things that bring, bring its message to you. And you do fear them. You know? You can't in one breath. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible to be deity fearing. I'm not going to limit the name because there's certain names like everything. 
that should be a thought process in its own that there's different names for supposedly the same thing but to be deity fearing and yet be fearless is impossible to do it's impossible to do you cannot fear a deity and then not fear everything in the world the reason why is because when you internalize the mentality and the thought process that these deities are everywhere and in everything you have to fear everywhere you go and everything you see